So Star Wars The Acolyte is out, at least the first four episodes. And so far, the viewer comments make it slightly worse than the Star Wars Christmas special, which was spectacularly terrible. And I've kind of avoided watching it for a lot of reasons, but I, I watched all four episodes and I wanted to talk about it because there's been almost uniformly terrible reviews of this thing. And while I agree, it's not great. I disagree with some of the commenters that are making various statements about it. So first thing somebody's going to say is, oh, Tim, you're not a true Star Wars fan. Well, OK, fine. Say what you want, but I'm old enough that I actually saw the first one in the theater when I was five. Um, you know, episode four, I've seen all of them as they've come out. Uh, can I lay claim to having seen absolutely every single episode of everything, including the animated stuff ever? No, I can't. But, I, you know, I've been around the block a bunch of times, including, you know, taking my kids to go see this stuff. And honestly, I think my kids were probably the least entertained of anybody there. It was probably me. It was more of that. Uh, I made them wait in line long enough to go get actual, you know, lightsabers that act like lightsabers. That would be Luke's princess leia's we've got a total of six of these things running around the house and i don't think it was my kids that were the driving force behind that okay it, it really wasn't it was me um and you know have i read the books sure i've read the books i've got a bunch of them around here this by the way is probably the finest star wars book ever written timothy zahn fantastic trilogy if you get the chance to read that now let's dig into the acolyte what's wrong with it what's right with it it takes place a hundred years before uh, the events inside even the prequels take place. So uh, let's let's just kind of take a quick look at sort of what, what are some of the actual complaints about the show? There's been a lot of them. Uh, some of the headlines on IMDb of the reviews is painful. How bad can it get? Laughably bad, bad written, bad direction. Where did they spend their $180 million on? I like this one. <clears throat> Jar Jar Binks was a museum masterpiece next to this. It's over, complete garbage. Uh, I made an account just to rate this junk, garbage, dumbest writers in the world, cultural vandalism, blah, 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 blah. We've heard them all. And part of that is driven by it's just kind of cool now to jump online and hate things. But if you read through those reviews, they're all kind of saying the same three things. It's like, well, they they made it woke. They made it gay. They made it whatever. And they don't really get too specific. And a, a lot of the criticism coming back from the director is now, well, the stand the, that's just being written by angry white men in their 50s. And I'm an angry, I'm a guy in my 50s. I won't say that I'm angry, but I will say that some of that criticism that's popping up is it, what they're claiming is is the intent of, of the show is not necessarily well thought out. They're, they're kind of picking on it in ways that they shouldn't. So, okay. You want to call me angry? I'm going to get specific. And I mean really specific about what about this show I didn't like. There are some reviews saying the diver the diversity is forced. It's got you know so much diversity you can tell they forced it. First off, I'll back the director on this one. Um, you're telling me we have something. The, the, I'm going to pick on the, the commenters a little bit. So you're telling me we have a big wide galaxy full of things and you expect everybody to kind of look like when it was Star Wars versus the Palpatine family, right? So you got the the the, the uh, uh, Skywalkers re Palpatine going on. And yeah, okay, I get those two families kind of all look alike. But you're telling me in a world where Darth Maul, Babu Frank, Wookiees, Ewoks, all that's acceptable, all of a sudden having people that kind of look like they're all different is weird? I don't think it's forced. I think they just kind of said, okay, it's, let's find the best actors for the job. And I do think there are some incredible actors in this. Now, <laughs> what does that get to? Bear with me a minute. Um, one of the other reviewers I've seen pick on this thing. Well, gee, we had fires in space. I'm going to pick on that reviewer too. Well, what about all the fires? You can't have fires in space. I am a physicist. I understand that. You can't have fires in space. There's no gas. There's no gas. There's no uh, oxygen. Yet those same reviewers never seem to give a shit when a complete spaceship has a, a power loss and they still have artificial gravity. And how is it magically that the gravity effect on every planet is exactly the same? And that's just kind of generally okay. Not realistic, but okay. But now we're going to just pick on the fire in space because we kind of, it's cool to jump on a bandwagon and pick on something. So we'll pick on that. Um, now, what do I find wrong with the show? Those are just the review things, right? So those are reviewers kind of getting out of hand and just nitpicking crap that they shouldn't nitpick. Number one, the twin having twins at the center of a story, it's getting really old, right? Luke, Leia, you know, now we've got identical twins. Hollywood does this crap with twins all the time. It's like, oh, let's just make it twins. That'll make it more fun. 
uh, twins, especially identical twins, are not shockingly common. Yet all of a sudden, they're like in everything all the time. And I, 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 I'm getting it's getting old. Now, the one thing that I noticed when I was watching uh, through uh, the show is that some actors are like super intense, and they want everything to kind of like they want everything to just be an intense moment, just purely dramatic. And then other actors are kind of like they're hanging out with their buds at, at um, uh, a local bar. And sometimes you can have highly intense and not intense in the same scene. And to me, that's just kind of, I don't think it's the actor's problem. I think it comes from above. Now, somebody's going to say, oh, no, you're being misogynistic because, you know, it was, it was put together by a woman. I don't care if you're going to come out and tell everybody we're angry for no specific reason. I'm telling you what I didn't like. I'm not upset with somebody because it was directed by a woman. I don't really give a shit one way or the other. Some of my favorite writers are women. Some of my favorite directors are women. Several of my favorite actors are women. But this, I think, is justifiable because you've got people who never get out. you got characters who never get out of that hyper-intense mode. And in the original trilogy, you'd have lighter moments. You'd have a lot of those lighter moments, you know, the, the Chewbacca laughing at, at uh, Han Solo is like, laugh it up, fuzzball. You have those moments. And there's entire episodes of this thing that don't. Um, but And that, that to me, kind of makes the, the acting kind of unbalanced, where you'd have the same scene, people taking the situation completely differently, at least to the sort of unbalanced kind of, kind of feel. Now, this one, I'm also going to pick on the, the criticizers a little bit, too. So there's women kind of this group of women create these twins and they create them without men around. Everybody's like, Oh, you can't do that. But nobody said anything when that happened in wonder woman. And when um, Palpatine brought it up that you can kind of create life. If you use the force, nobody really said anything about that either yet. Here's an example of it happening. And all of a sudden we're going to pick on it and blame the director and producer for that. And I really don't blame them for that. I think that's just kind of built into, to the, uh, uh, the history. And maybe we all thought Palpatine was kidding that you could use the force to do it, but they did. And I'll go with it, but you know I'm I'm gonna back him on that one. Um, the the one thing I did notice, and and I kind of am gonna pick on the writing and directing on this one too. They're kind of making the Jedi out to be dicks, right? They're kind of saying, oh, we're gonna test your kid no matter what. We're gonna take your kid away and let him train no matter what, right? And oh, you might have to do it or else, right? And it's not that the Jedi said that. It's just that you could get that feeling from that group of of. Uh, 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 women that, you know, we, we have to let this happen, you know, otherwise it could be a problem. They thought about fighting back, but they didn't want to vocalize it too much. So there was some tension there, but um, they, they, to me, they, it was like they were trying to kind of purposely make the, the Jedi out to be sort of heavy handed sort of dicks um, and justify slaying one of them later. And what the hell is with the Jedi committing suicide? A little floaty dude that kind of looked like uh, uh, Luke Skywalker. You know, I don't get it. Um, but the, the rest of it, to me, it was just boring. I Finally, at the end of episode four, like a Sith Lord shows up or something. But, you know, I had to kind of really force myself to get that far into the series. And I really don't care that a Sith Lord showed up. I mean, that's just kind of, you know, par for the course with Star Wars. I'm not like, oh, yeah, this is finally. No, I, I kind of to the point where I don't care. Um, and, yeah, okay, that's neat that you've got, I guess it's a Sith. I'm taking a shot in the dark there. They haven't really explained it. Uh, but... The, the thing I found about it is that the show is mostly just boring. Um, Star Wars typically has a specific pace to it and it moves fast. And this thing just really doesn't. Uh, it kind of moves like a snail. And, you know, it, the rest of it, you know, I don't care. Written by women, people want to think that it's gay. I, you know, I don't see any of that. I don't feel any of that when I watch it. But what I do find is that I'm shockingly bored. Uh, and when I watch Star Wars, I'm looking for something to move quicker. Um, and, you know, it is what it is, folks. It's it's probably not going to get better as the season progresses. I may watch the fifth episode. I may not. But after four, I'm really not that excited for the next one. Uh, so you guys make up your own mind. Let me know what you think in the comments. Everybody have a great uh, great day, rest of the weekend, week, wherever you watch the video. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, uh, and um, follow wherever you happen to see the video. Uh, everybody have a great one.